Now, as you do your shopping for the festive season, the probability is high, maybe even 99% that at one point or another, you will buy something in one of the 30 or so Nakumat supermarket outlets. And this does not just apply in Kenya. It applies across the spectrum of East African community countries, Kenya, Uganda, Rwanda, and now Moshi in Tanzania, where Nakumat opened its first branch in the country on Thursday. But as you shop in Nakumat, have you ever bothered to find out the phenomenal story behind the most successful supermarket chain in Eastern Africa? Probably not. And that's why today we bring you the story of Nakumat. Now the story of Nakumat began in 1947 when the late Magnala Shah migrated from India to Kenya in search of greener pastures. Magnala Shah set up a small shop in Embakasi area to serve the quarry workers who were building the city of Nairobi. But after a short while he saw things were not moving as fast as he wanted so he moved with his young family to the lakeside town of Kisumu. But even here he didn't stay long. In 1965 he was settled in Nakuru town where he started a clothing store and named it Vimal Fancy Store after his first born son Vimal Shah. Now from there uh, in 1975 uh, the clothing store business was so successful that Shah started diversifying and expanding in Nakuru and its environs. Interestingly, this expansion of the clothing business almost derailed the determined entrepreneur. In a desire to expand and attract more business, though, Magnalal had extended credit facilities to customers and suppliers who failed to pay. By 1976, his business had debts in excess of 1.2 million shillings. That was in 1976. It was a lot of money, of course, at that time. Overwhelmed by debts, Shah declared bankruptcy and closed the clothing business. With nowhere to turn, he took a casual job with his brother, Hash, Hasmuk Shah, who was then running a shop in Nakuru town known as Nakuru Mattresses. Now, while their father was working at Nakuru Mattresses, his two sons, Vimal and Atul Shah, who later became the Nakumat CEO, had opened a corner shop in Nakuru and named it Fur Mats. This new venture by the sons was so successful that they had enough money not just to pay off their father's debt, but more importantly, to buy Nakuru mattress and merge it with fur mats, giving birth to Nakumat as we know it today. So rather ironically, it is the derailment of the clothing business that gave birth to the giant multi-billion shilling business that is Nakumat Supermarkets. Now today, Nakumat is one of the fastest growing businesses in the region and has won many coveted local, regional and international awards such as the most respected business award for service sector in East Africa, the Financial Times of London Top 50 Business Leadership Award, the Camden FB Top 50 Global Challenges, the authoritative European publication that chronicles the world's most successful family businesses. That's what it is. Now, Nakumat has grown into a multinational business that provides direct employment to over 5,000 workers and has an annual turnover of about 45 billion shillings and an asset base of about 11 billion shillings. Indeed, it is not surprising that the supermarket chain is referred to in some circles as the Walmart of East Africa, a reference to the highly successful U.S. supermarket chain Walmart. Nakumat has ambitious plans to become not just the Walmart of East Africa but rather the Walmart of the African continent with plans at an advanced stage to open up stores in several African countries in the next few years. So exactly who owns this most successful supermarket chain? Well, unlike most other businesses we featured in this program, Nakumat Supermarkets is essentially a family business without a long list of shareholders. Thus, the shareholders of Nakumat Supermarkets are, let's take a look. We have Hotnet Limited with about 847 million shillings worth of shares in Nakumat. That's about 7.7% uh, of shares. And following Hotnet is the Shah family holding 10.15 billion shillings worth of uh, shares of uh, uh, worth of shares of Nakumat and that translates into 92.3 percent of shares and they are represented by the CEO Atul Shah. 
plans are, however, underway to get Nakumet listed at the NSC, where more investors and shareholders will be able to get on board. Very interesting story. Fascinating. Let's take a look at our quote of the week. Now, you may never realize it, but a kick in the teeth may actually be what got you started, excuse me, on the right path to success. And those are the words of Walt Disney. Walt Disney, of course, is the creator of the world's largest and most successful entertainment empire, the Disneyland brand. He had many failures before he became a success. This keeps repeating. This is a common theme now. But most entrepreneurs will say, I fell, I fell, I fell. I fell so many times and then I, I, I you know, I, I made it. Definitely. I'm certainly even one that they mentioned that as fast to fall, you succeed for you have to fall fast before you can succeed right. dust yourself up try again try get up again. dust yourself off and definitely. keep going and i Very know our athletes do it all the time all the time they do that <laughs> definitely julie well that's uh, just some of the inspirational notes that are coming up with sports in just a moment we're into sports after this